Hi class and welcome to Math 100G Personal Finance. My name is uh, Brother Stephen Dixon and I'm going to be your instructor for this semester. So I wanted to start off the course by uh, doing a quick little introduction. Um, so this video is going to be a little introduction of myself so that way you guys get to know me a little bit better as well as a little introduction to the course. I'm excited to be teaching this, this course again. Um, <clears throat> I've been teaching Pathways for about just a little over three years now and um, I and well I've been teaching for BYU Idaho for that. I've done some of the other math courses and I, I have to tell you I always really enjoy teaching the Pathway Math 100G course. It's definitely, I think, my favorite course to teach. I think it's a overall just a really well-rounded course that's going to get you back into math if you haven't done math for a while. But the personal finance side of it, I think, is so key and so useful and such a good tool for you guys as, um, <clears throat> as you go forward. It'll, hopefully, you'll learn some new things. We'll, throughout the semester, we'll start diving into Excel. Um, we'll do budgeting if you don't already do that. Uh, you'll get a chance to read a financial self-help type book, which I think is really beneficial, even if you are somebody that's already been a budgeter and planning for the future and all that. I think um, you, everybody that reads these books really finds it beneficial and you'll learn something new. So I'm excited for this semester. So let's go ahead and jump right into a little, some introductory slides about myself. And, um, and then we'll jump over to the course and I'll show you a few things on there. So there we go. Some um, quick introduction slides. As I mentioned before, I'm Brother Stephen Dixon. This is Intro to Algebra and Finance. So if you're seeing this and don't remember signing up for this course, please contact me. Um, we'll go through a little bit about me. So I grew up in a town called Gilroy, California. It's just uh, south of the Bay Area, about a half hour south of San Jose, California, if you're familiar with the area. I served my mission in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Um, and I met my beautiful wife while attending BYU-Idaho. We've been married for uh, seven years now, almost eight. I'll, we'll actually... Um, celebrate our eighth anniversary during this semester so almost eight years uh, we've got three boys uh, their ages are five three and one although our five and three year old will be turning six and four in the next month so almost six and four and then our little one year old um, you can see him there in the picture there's a that family picture of us we took on on Christmas Eve uh, you can see our our three year old is thrilled to take a picture uh, the other two did pretty good, but you know how it goes with kids sometimes. You just don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna turn out, whether they're gonna want to take the picture or not. It didn't help that it was only like 40 degrees outside or 35 degrees outside. I don't remember. It was kind of cold. So, um, <clears throat> and this was after church, and they were just wanting to get home. But that's our little family right there. Uh, we live in Vineyard, Utah, and uh, we love to do things outside. We try and get out and do as much as we can outside with the kids, uh, go on hikes, uh, we do have a couple of dirt bikes, sometimes we like to get out and try and go dirt biking. Uh, the picture below is on Christmas morning, we actually woke up to a, <clears throat> a white Christmas, which is always fun. There's a little some snow on the ground, so we got the toys out and played around in the snow for the afternoon. So um, That's a little bit about me, and a little bit about my family, here's a couple more pictures, there's picture of us we got to go up to Temple Square and see the uh, the Temple Square lights during Christmas time which is always a, a fun highlight um, there's us in a ugly sweater party with some of our friends and um, and then there's a family photo shoot that we did a couple months back but uh, yeah it's a little bit about me a little bit about my family um, talk a little bit about my background uh, what my schooling is what I do now for work um, I received my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from BYU-Idaho uh, back in 2012. From there I went on to BYU down in Provo, Utah and got my master's degree in mechanical engineering. And while I was finishing up that, I got introduced uh, to a local company called Nature Sunshine Products. 
Um, they're they're an herbal supplement company, but they they have a manufacturing plant down in Spanish Fork, Utah, and so that is where I work as a full time um, engineer for them. Um, I'm a process development engineer, but I also do a lot of what we call continuous improvement engineering. So my main job there is, since it's a manufacturing plant, um, I, I look at the different manufacturing processes and I try and look for ways to make them more efficient. Um, so if anyone is familiar with the term lean manufacturing, that's a lot of what I do. I do a lot of lean manufacturing coaching and and just really anything to do with manufacturing and, and trying to make it um, smoother and easier and faster and better. Um, this is my ninth semester teaching for BYU-Idaho. Um, I, I think I mentioned previously I've taught for Pathway, done Pathway courses. I've also taught some BYU-Idaho courses. Um, but I always, I always look forward to teaching this class. I, really, I think the class is just really well put together. The flow of the class... Everything about it, I think, um, goes really way goes really well. Um, uh, here's a little bit of contact info. So I'm going to be doing office hours on Wednesdays from 8 to 10 p.m. Um, there's my email. Don't worry about jotting this stuff down. I'll show you on the uh, <clears throat> the I learn where you can find all this information, so you don't need to worry about writing it down. Um, there is my phone number. Um, Feel free to reach out to me, questions, comments. I'll I'll typically respond within 24 hours, Monday through Friday. So uh, one thing, you see pictures of my family. I do work really hard to try and get everything done Monday through Fridays, so that way I have my Saturdays to spend uh, doing things around my house. Um, I do work full time, and then I do this, and then we still you know have my home and home chores that I got to do. So I try and work really hard to get everything done Monday through Friday so that way I can have Saturday to spend time with my family and get um things done around the home and then obviously it um also on Sunday. So I will try and respond quickly during the week, but just know if you, you know if you email me late Friday night or something, you may not get a response until Monday morning. Um with that though, I will be lenient and you know if there was something that went wrong with the course or you got locked out of a quiz or something like that I'll reopen it the next week for you don't worry about that um, and uh, and as far as calling or texting me I just ask you know please be please be considerate of the time preferably don't call or text after 9 p.m. mountain um, I forgot to change it. it says mountain daylight time it's actually mountain standard time right now we're not in daylight savings um, just after nine o'clock mountain time, please, uh, please don't call or text. Just wait until the next morning. Um, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty open to if there's some sort of scenario, like if you get sick, uh, something like that and you can't miss it or, you know, you have an emergency with your family or something like that and you miss a deadline, I'm going to reopen, um, uh, the, the assignments for you if you were to miss them. The only time I may start being, you know, questioning things is if I see that it's a, routine thing that you're always missing it and needing it reopened then I may start asking a little bit of okay why are we missing um, the deadlines um, but you know if it's an emergency or something like that then I'll, I'll be lenient so um, <clears throat> the office hours um, I'll show you how you book those so it's a I don't know if you've had other professors that do this but I set up a website where you actually go in and schedule a time with me um, it makes it a little bit easier for me so that way I know who's wanting to meet rather than just sitting in a virtual office and seeing if anyone comes then I know if someone's coming and then um, I'm able to better prepare myself for to, to help you out so and again if, if for some reason you know like Wednesdays just will never work for you you know maybe you're involved in mutual or something like that that you know or you've got work you work a swing shift and there's just no way Wednesdays are going to work, just reach out to me. I'll try and make something work. Um, you know, I, I, I try and stay to this Wednesday, 8 to 10, but it doesn't mean I, I can't deviate from it. Um, uh, the one of, This is one of my favorite quotes uh, by President Hinckley. Um, it isn't as bad as you sometimes think it is. It all works out. Don't worry. I say that to myself every morning. It will. It will all work out. If you do your best, it will all work out. Put your trust in God and move forward with faith and confidence in the future. The Lord will not forsake us. 
he will not forsake us. If we will put our trust in him, if we will pray to him, if we will live worthy of his blessings, he will hear our prayers. President Gordon B. Hinckley. So I really like that one because um, this helped me get through school. Uh, towards the end of my graduate program, I was really struggling to finish and it was hard and I was writing a thesis and I was struggling with getting that thesis written and uh, and this just kind of brought a lot of comfort to me because it was a very stressful time in my life and my family's life and um, and it was you know it was really hard and after reading this and pondering on it, it it helped me to be calm and to know that you know even though we go through trials and things that uh, everything works out in the end and um, you know, there's a plan for us, and even though things can get hard and challenging, we can grow from those challenges and everything will work out. So, um, now let's go ahead and jump into a little bit uh, of the stuff on the course side. Okay, so when you log into the course, you come in, uh, and this should be the first page that you normally see. Um, right here, the announcements, that is where you'll be seeing this video. You know, it's not there right now because I'm making it, but hopefully by the time you're watching this, you'll see it there. If you are watching this, then that means you saw it. Um, so every week, plan on seeing an announcement from me. Um, I like doing these type of videos, so probably going to mostly be these videos. Um, there'll be, uh, it won't be as long as this one. This one's long because it's the intro one. Typically, I'll try and keep them to like, you know five minutes or six minutes um, I also might post uh, a few tutorials here and there on how to do things um, but really the announcements I'm not going to necessarily talk about due dates and things like that um, I think this is everybody's second semester of pathway and so you're familiar with how the pathway program works where you have your pre-semester full or pre pre-semester pre-gathering folder um, and then your gathering folder and then your post gathering and the pre gathering folders always do by Thursday um, or sorry by Wednesday and uh, I'm getting it mixed up with the class I taught last semester where everything was due on Thursdays so it was always due on Wednesday and then you have your gathering one and then the post the gathering and post gathering folders are always due by Saturday um, so I think everyone's familiar with that format so I'm not going to go into that um, but so what I'm going to post here is more just some tips for the week, um, just a heads up on maybe some things that are coming up that week or maybe in two weeks to remind you of. So because there's going to be assignments that aren't assignments that you can just do in one week. You know, it's going to be keeping a budget for a few weeks or you know making sure that you're reading your book, things like that. You'll learn more about that as the semester goes along. Um, but. Uh, so that's where I'm going to be posting this stuff is in the announcements. Um, from here, if you go into the content, I just want to quickly show you where um, my info is. So it's it's up here in overview, um, and then when you click on that, this is the page that pulls up. Uh, so this is what I was saying. You don't need to worry about writing this down. This is where the info is. So there's my phone number. Uh, there's my email and um, virtual office is where we'll meet uh, for off office hours times. So this is what I was saying, to schedule a time with me, you click on here and it takes you to this site called You Can Book Me. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna show you um, the, the time slots for Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> and you can book this up to a week in advance. So you'll see here it's showing uh, January 10th, so next week. And, um, or I guess this week as you're watching this, um, you can book it, you can come in. When you click on it, it'll take you in here. You put your name, your email, and duration. I have it up to 30 minutes. That's just to allow, I do teach two sections, and so I've got roughly 80 students. So um, I just want to make sure that I'm able to meet with as many students as possible. Um, so you can choose 15 or 30 minutes and then I just ask that you put a little description in as to what you would like to talk about. Um, is it going over test questions? Is it going over a homework problem? Whatever it is, just put a little thing in there. That gives me a heads up, lets me better prepare so that way when we meet I'm, I'm prepared and, uh, and ready to help you out in the best way I can. So then you go in there, you click that you're not a robot and you confirm booking. And what it'll do is it'll actually 
it'll send you an email to remind you and then it sends me an email and actually puts it on my calendar so that way I see it and I, I know that uh, on Wednesday I'm going to meet with so and so at this time and they want to talk about this so um, so that's how you schedule office hours if you have questions with that please let me know um, and that's really um, everything that uh, I kind of wanted to show you for right now um, yeah other than that here's you know on the side it's just your normal layout you have your lesson one that's what we'll start with this week you got your pre-gathering your gathering and your post gathering folders um, some some main things so this week uh, make sure that you are uh, posting on the discussion board that is where we'll do our introductions get to know each other a lot all oh, that is one good thing to remind a lot of students sometimes get confused um, because I think in your first semester courses you have to post to the discussion board every week in the math class um, we use the discussion board the first week to do introductions so that we get to know each other but after the first week the discussion board is really just um, for if you have questions you can still use it each week um, but it's not a mandatory you're not going to be graded on it it's just kind of a place that if you have a general question that you'd like to ask you can go on there and post and then myself will I'll be monitoring it so I'll respond or if there's a classmate that might know the answer they may um, see the question and respond before I do so um, so that's one thing that's a little bit different about this class compared to some of the other classes where you have to post something every week. This one you do not have to post. The first week you do. This week you do have to post. You gotta post an introduction um, and then respond to two other people's introductions as well. So um, anyways, that's all I've got for right now. I look forward to getting to know you all this week through the uh, introduction <coughs> discussion board and uh, don't hesitate to reach out and ask me any questions if you have any. So I look forward to working with all you throughout the semester and having a good one. Okay.